Welcome to RBO. Today you guys are going to be taking a look at the Vietnam War Survival Kit, Survival Stash. If you weren't in Vietnam, you don't really recognize this, but this big old thing is a cooler. And these used to be dropped out of helicopters with nice cold meals and stuff like that. Down to the guys doing their work in the jungle. And yeah, pop it open and go ahead and see what we stashed inside of it. This is really cool. It has four good old seals. It has, of course, loot patches. Before we get into this, I got this at a garage sale for about $40. And some veteran um, said you could put stuff in here for a week and stay cold. And it worked pretty well when me and my dad were out camping for about 10 days. As you can see, pretty well packed. Got a good amount of gear in here. Now this kit kit is set up for kind of a resupply. So you'd have like a water bottle and a backpack and that's pretty much it. And you can survive off the rest of this. It would help if you had uh, additional food. First I'm gonna go ahead and start taking some stuff out. Right here, we have our neck scarf or even a face mask for bugs and for the sun. Here we have our hand warmers. These are 10 hours. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six packs, repairs. So 12 actual 10 hour hand warmers. We also have some packs of vitamin C powder or uh, squincher zeros. You bump, uh, pop these in there, gives you a little bit of a boost. Also helps you if you're getting below the weather. Also have a tube of peanut butter, as well as a whole thing of honey. A lot of nutrition in there, a lot of sugars. For fire starting, we have our UCO stormproof matches, of course. Great for starting fires in damp environments. For gear repair, and also first aid, we have our survival sewing kit from Adventure Survival. You got everything in there. You got duct tape, you got a little pair of scissors, you got needles, thread, safety pins, wire, anything you could think of. Additional way of fire starting, we have our fire serum rod from Koga Hand, along with the striker. Stay warm. We have two emergency blankets or mylar blankets. These things are great for reflecting your heat back at you. And for fire starting, let's say we have half a dozen or more two block fire starters, the little packets here. Great for fire starting. You just want to make sure you have for sure fire or easier. Start with ease. Here we have our first aid kit. We have some gloves, CPR masks, basic tourniquet along with some bandages, uh, some wipes, some gauze, and some alcohol wipes as well. Very basic. Additional way of nutrition. We have how many packs? Nuts. We have five packs of nuts. Dried berries and nuts. This over. Here, we have our fishing kit, so we got our sinkers. Hooks, hooks, some bobbers, along with a little stringer there. Cool little kit there. So with that, we have our fishing rod. There's a Shakespeare micro, and a little telescope rod, the pole. We're cooking, kind of a dirty, but operational Coleman little pot. Pan, so you can boil or cook in it. We also have a pack of tuna. We also have some tools in here. Put this up here. We have a military shovel. Nice rubber case on it. Very nice shovel. Absolutely love this thing. Got the serrated blade. 
Um, most military shovels that I've used, well, all of them except for this one, usually bend when you actually try to dig in to a wooded area because of roots. They hit a root and they usually bend and you can't really bend them back with the cheap metal it's made out of. So this is by far the best one. It's a surplus one. Honestly, don't know the model. We also have a Vulcan hatchet. As well as a handsaw. And then my personal favorite, the Mora Garbarg Scandinavian blade. Along with a ferro rod and a sharpener. Can never have too many ferro rods though. Water purification. We have a Sawyer squeeze along with the syringe to clear it out just in case you get some particulates in there. We also have a little net bag to throw some of the smaller stuff and everything so you can throw it in your bag afterwards. And to add to warmth, we just have a sleeping bag liner to at least it's something to wrap yourself up in along with the Mylar bags. We also have some rain gear from Sun Mountain. So you got your uh, poncho, jacket, and your pants. Keep it nice and dry. We also have some 550 paracord for doing whatever you need to do. Now we're kind of just all compiling right here. Keep it clean. We have some combat wipes. These things are great, very tough, and they are just like keep their moisture or whatever the chemical it is very well. We also have a yellow and a white glow stick if you want to signal or signal to other people or just use it for lighting. We also just have a basic Bic lighter with some duct tape wrapped around it. You can rip off a nice strand, light the strand, you get a fire starter. We also have a flashlight in case you need to see at night. It zooms in. These are the uh, Sam's Club members mark. Nothing fancy. We also have our basic Garbar multi-tool. Uh, this is a utility one, so it has two saws, scissors, and the Phillips and flathead and whatnot, as well as the can opener and bottle opener. I don't know if they have a wilderness one, but I believe they do. For a compass, we have our military-styled metal compass, kind of heavier styled, but heavy duty as well. Works well, glows dark, glows in the dark, the arrow does. Also has a level, also has a little lanyard. Pop that right back in this little pouch. We also have a solar powered hand crank radio. If you want to listen in what's going on in the uh, outer world. Another form of signaling. We also have a little whistle here. Emergency orange, survival orange, lanyard loop, as well as a belt. Or even, I suggest, right on the neck of your shirt. To help you with shelter making, we have two of these A-frame style shelters. These aren't too much to build with. They get yeah, like a few nights, maybe stay in one. But the other one is just maybe to use the material so you can have your fire reflecting back at you whatever way you do set up your shelter. Whenever you do find your location that you uh, qualify as safe. And yeah, this is more or less a bug out box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I had fun making this video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And let me know if you guys are noticing the difference between audio and imaging with uh, the new camera because I'm using it. Uh, the last video is filmed on it. I just forgot to mention it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again. Have a nice day.